The Lusatian culture, circa 1300 to 500 BC, was a prominent archaeological culture of the Late Bronze Age and Early Iron Age in Central and Eastern Europe. It spanned parts of modern-day Poland, Eastern Germany, the Czech Republic, Slovakia, and Western Ukraine. The Lusatian people built well-organized hill forts and villages, often located on defensible terrain. Their economy was based on farming, animal husbandry, metallurgy, and trade. They produced high-quality bronze tools, weapons, and ornaments, and their pottery was carefully decorated, often with geometric patterns. One of the most famous Lusatian sites is Biskupin, a fortified lake settlement in north-central Poland, which demonstrates advanced wooden architecture and urban planning. Linguistically and ethnogenetically, the Lusatian culture is often linked to the early development of the Balto-Slavic language group. For this video, I have prepared two Lusatian samples from the 9th century BC in Valin, Ukraine. The first sample, Ukar 167, plots close to Belarusians according to FST statistics generated with Admixtols 2. It is also relatively close to Balts, Estonians, and Russians. It is clearly Eastern European overall. The second sample, UKR 168, also plots close to Belarusians. However, it seems to be more distant from Balts and overall a bit more Southern genetically. UKR 167 can be modeled as a mixture of globular amphora and corded ware cultures, but with a significant additional hunter-gatherer admixture. This extra hunter-gatherer admixture is absent in UKR 168, who is best modeled as a simple two-way mixture of the corded ware culture and globular amphora cultures. Now let's get into their trait predictor results. Let's start with UKR 167. She is predicted to have blue eyes, dark blonde hair, palest skin tone, straight hair texture, and a snub nose shape. Regarding her dopaminergic profile, she was intermediate between warrior and warrior, she had lower odds of autism, was likely lactose intolerant, had lower levels of empathy, low odds of epithelial cancer, high odds of obesity, and decisively blood type B. She scored high for odds of exfoliation glaucoma, AMD, baldness, Alzheimer's, thyroid cancer, and polycythemia vera. She scored low for odds of Tourette's, leukemia, stroke, atrial fibrillation, DVT, bipolar 1, schizophrenia, type 2 diabetes, and prostate cancer. She carried rare risk variants for porphyria, 1, FHC, IBS, congenital analgesia. Now let's move on to UKR 168. She is predicted to have brown eye color, dark brown hair, olive skin tone, wavy hair, and a Greek nose shape. She was a worrier, had higher odds of autism, was lactose intolerant, had lower levels of empathy, higher odds of epithelial cancer, average odds of obesity, and decisively blood type O. She scored high for odds of erythema nodosum, cataracts, leukemia, primary biliary cirrhosis, type 1 diabetes, Alzheimer's, glioma, thyroid cancer, and polycythemia vera. She scored low for odds of exfoliation glaucoma, stroke, ADHD, bipolar type 1, schizophrenia, and type 2 diabetes. She carried rare risk variants for Parkinson's, IBS, and Fabry disease. You can purchase their raw DNA in 23andMe format from the link in the description of the video.